Hey. So you missed the chance to see the house when it wasn't cluttered and crowded. And this is a start of the storage lockers. Just a start. Oh, that's heavy. I'm trying to lift this box so you can see inside of it. Okay. The husband just messaged me and I can't message back. So, inside this box, those are first day covers. I can't get there. Hold on, I didn't plan this out that well. So, this is a whole bunch of first day covers. Okay, of postage. Then, okay, can you see? That's just a start on stuff that's been in storage. That's my show stuff. Stuff that's been in storage for a very long time. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to get open the garage door. And we're starting to fill up in here. Again, old stuff that's been in wraps. Don't know what half of the stuff in here is. This is old papers, old magazines, catalogs. I have probably a hundred 1960s era Playboys that I'll be selling the ads out of. That's my spinning station. That's, yeah. So this right here is going to be where I'm going to this whole section here is going to be my mailing section for where I'm trying to do this. I don't know how well I'm going to succeed. For where I will be working on things for mailing out, for selling and mailing. So let me see if I can get this camera set here. That's not like taking that. I'm going to touch the screen for a second. There we go. Okay, how's that? That works, right? It's kind of off-center. That works. Okay, so this is an entire bin of canceled stamps. And I've started sorting them out. So, we have things like that. Getting the angle on the camera is really a lot harder than you think, at least for me. So I started a new group on Facebook called Cancelled Stamps. If you are interested, it's a public group. Focus. It's a public group. Go ahead and join it. And I'm going to post a photo at a time. of these stamps and old magazines and old ads and anything I think is vaguely collectible. Okay, like I said, that other box has first day covers. These are the cancelled. These Liberty stamps here, there's somebody on Etsy selling a hundred of them for four dollars, so I don't think they have that much value. I don't know. I don't know stamps. I've never collected stamps. I especially don't know foreign stamps. Yeah, I bumped it. Can you see that? Now, some of these are absolutely pristine, and some of these are stuck together in a mess, and I will try really hard to explain what's what in the group and then I'll go and I'll search on online and try to find the value of the stamp like I found those liberties but I couldn't find these these are off of a postage provided envelope it's not a stamp it's it's see how that is how that's embossed on the back it was on an envelope there's a couple of them I can't find them online I don't know the searches I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for to search. Most of these are very vaguely canceled. I mean, there, there's just that little corner spot. 
So, yeah, if you're into stamps, go hit Facebook, hit that group. That's from Mongolia. That's the hubby's part Mongolian. Very, very small part Mongolian, but he is part Mongolian. It's kind of funny. I don't think that came out the way I meant it to. Anyway, check it out. If you're into stamps, if you have a friend or a relative who's into stamps, send them to the group. Okay? Canceled stamps on Facebook. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.